No, we're looking at um, German tools um, question, right? Looking at German tool question, right? So we're trying to see if we can run through this question. We'll be able to do this question as quick as possible. Alright, cool. So we're starting with our opening stock of raw material. If you're looking at the question paper, you'll see that there. The opening stock of raw material is 27,000. So you insert the opening stock of raw material, add it with your what? Purchases of RM, raw material, which is 36,300. Plus your what? Carriage inwards and raw material. When you add all three together, you get what? 65,000. Next, you do what? You subtract your return outwards and raw material. And you minus the return out of on raw material. In this case, it was $500. 500 from 65, you get 64,500, which is known as your what? Cost of raw material at failure. Your cost of raw material at failure. So your what is your cost of raw material available? 64,500. This is what you have available. Now, throughout the year, you would have done trading. So at the end of the year, your closing stock, your closing stock was what? 15,600. Quick review, I realized that the, um, the quick review, I realized that the closing stock was not included in the question that was sent to your email. Closing stock was not included in the question that was sent to your email, so I just sent an email um, speaking to that. Alright, the question should include closing stock, closing stock of raw material, 15,600. It's supposed to also include closing work in progress. Your closing work in progress was 13,200. So you'll see these figures on the board. They are, they are not in the question, but these are the closing stock. Right, so it was um, accidentally left out of the question. So yeah, closing stock of raw material, that should be at the end of the question, I believe, note five. Should have a closing stock of raw material, closing stock of work in progress, which is 13,200. And there were also closing stock of finished goods, which is 20,000. There were also closing stock of finished goods, which was 20,000. That would have been note five. All right, let us continue. So we're picking up. We're picking up now from our cost of raw material available. Now you subtract your what? Closing stock of raw material that we made mention of, right? Which is 15,300. And you minus the 15,300 from um, the 15,300 from the 645, you get what? 48,900. What is this figure known as? This is what we call our what? Cost of raw material consumed. This is known as your cost of raw material consumed. All right, this is known as your cost of raw material consumed. Now, next up, which we're supposed to what? Add our what? Direct um, labor, likewise direct expense. As it relates to this question, there were only what? Direct labor, which we call what? Factory wages in this case, right? So this was the one that can be traced back to production, which was identified in the question, or that stated it, that this was a direct portion of the wages. There were no direct expense, so when you add this to that, you get what? 198,900, and this will be known as your what? Prime cost. This will be known as your prime cost. So this is your prime cost. There was no direct expense to add it, to add to it. So to get our prime cost in this question, it would have been your direct material plus your direct wages, or what we call our direct label. Right, give you a prime cost of 198,900. Next, we'll move into the factory um, overheads, or which we know as our what? Indirect costs. Again, remember, we're supposed to what? Add factory overheads. We add our factory overheads, or what we call our indirect costs. First of which, we have what? Factory salary 25,200. So, this was the indirect portion. Next, we have factory power. Right, so there was factory power. If you look at the question, you realize that factory power there was what 83,200, right? Factory power there was 83,200. But if you look at the note immediately following, um, which is with the note two, speaking to factory power, right? There were factory powers in arrears, so 720 was owing. So, of course, the factory power for the year, you would have add the amount that was owing plus the amount that was paid to give you the total amount for the year of 83,920. Right? You add the arrears, meaning the outstanding amount, which was owing at the end of the year. Right? Next up, which we had what? Insurance. If you look in the question, you realize that insurance was what? 
4,400. But also insurance was prepaid by what? $200. So you're making the adjustment. Insurance was prepaid by $200. Now, also speaking to insurance, what they're saying as it relates to um, insurance, right? If you look at note three, right? What they're saying as it relates to insurance, right? Three fourth of the insurance because it, it should be shared in the ratio of three to one, meaning that um, three times as much should go to the factory, right? To share in the ratio of three to one, so three plus one give you what four. So, so right, so you have a three over four for the factory. So whatever it is, 200 from this, we should have given the what? 4,002 multiplied by 3 fourth because 3 fourth belongs to the what? Factory. And if I find 3 fourth of that, you get what? 3,150, which is what? 3 fourth of 4,200, right? The remaining would go to your what? The remaining would go to the office. Next, we calculate our depreciation, right? It is there in the question where you're supposed to calculate the depreciation. Right, note one speaks to it. So depreciation for machinery and when calculated for the twenty-five thousand for motor vehicle it was seven thousand. For motor vehicle it was seven thousand. Right? For motor vehicle there it was seven thousand. Alright. So motor vehicle when you find a motor vehicle was on the straight line method, right? Which was motor vehicle that cost was 140,000. Now when you find 10% of that, they get what? 14,000. But the note specifically states that what? The motor vehicle was used in the factory and the office equally. So it therefore means that if it was used equally, right? 50% belongs to the factory, 50% belongs to the office. Now with that said, of this 14,000, multiply by 50%, which give you what? 7,000 for the factory and 7,000 will be also included in the office. When you add these together, mean that you add all your factory expense, you get 144,770. Now when you add your factory expense to your prime cost, it gives you a total of what? 343,670. A total of 343,670. Next of which we're supposed to do what? Add or work in progress. Which of the work in progress we're talking about? The work in progress at the start. Your opening work in progress, right? The work in progress at the start. We're supposed to add your or work in progress. Now our work in progress there was what? 7,500. Your work in progress at the start of the year was 75. When you add it to get a total of what? 3, um, 351,170. Then at the end you minus your closing work in progress, which we spoke to about um, earlier. And your closing work in progress in this case was 13,200. When you minus 13,200 from there, you get a total of what? 337,970, which equals your what? Production cost. Right? So that is known as your production cost. So this is known as your production cost. Now let us take it over to our um, income statement. Our income statement, the start our sales. Now you minus your what? Return inwards, you get 529,800. Next up, which you have your opening stock of finished goods. You add your production cost, right? You add your production cost, then you less your what? Closing stock of finished goods. You less your closing stock of finished goods, you get cost of goods, cost, uh, cost of goods sold, 352,970. You minus it from your net sales, 166,830. To give you a gross profit of 176,830. A gross profit of what? 176,830. Then we'll move into the what? Expense side. Right? First of which are insurance. Remember, we made the adjustment to insurance. Right? A quarter of it belongs to the office. This is the office side. Right? Um, admin expense, which was 120. This is the office, the administrative side of 